Hello dear students. I welcome all the 9th standard students to SP SIRS online learning. This is a YouTube channel for you. Here I have tried my best to give you some of the important questions with answers in the examination point of view. SCA2, Summative Assessment 2. Social science is very easy, very important. And uh, in this part 1, I am giving you history and political science most likely questions in the part 1. And in the coming uh, episodes, I give you the rest of the branches. So, subscribe this channel so you will get everything free every alternate days. So, first of all, the lesson number one, history, western religions. So, you have first multiple choice before you. So, you can answer this. Zoroastrianism was founded in, options are Babylonia, Persia, Israel, Afghanistan. So, the answer is very clear. The answer is Persia. So, answer is shown in different color. So, you can follow it up. Next, Judaism, Zoroastrianism, Christianity and Islam are also known as Option A, Semitic religions, Ancient religions, Non-Semitic, Anti-Semitic. The answer is Semitic religion. So, so Judaism, Zoroastrianism, Christianity and even Islam belong to Semitic religions. The language of Jewish people is option Latin, Greek, Hebrew and Persian. So the language of Jewish people is Hebrew. Yes, it's very clear. The holy book of Zoroastrianism is option A, New Testament, option B, Bible, Option C, Old Testament. Option C, Zen Avesta. So the option, correct option is Zen Avesta. So the detail, you know, a descriptive type of questions are before you. The right, the teachings of Jesus Christ. This is one of the important questions in the first uh, lesson. Jesus told people to imagine God as their father. He advocated universal brotherhood. He told people to shun hypocritical religious practices. He advised people to repent for their sins and seek forgiveness from the God. So like this, all these points you need to write. Make use of this. Write the practices of Islam. Uh, the five practices are Kalima, Namaz, Rosa, Zakat and Hajj. You need to know what actually their meanings are. It may be multiple choice. It may be one mark. It may be even three marks too. What is Hijra? Muhammad the Prophet traveled from Mecca to Medina. This journey became popular as Hijra. So this, this is a two mark question. Like this, there are many questions. You need to learn them. Ten rules in Judaism. Do not have any other gods. Do not make uh, or worship idols. Do not disrespect or misuse God's name. Remember Sabbath and keep it holy. Honor your mother and father. Like this, there are ten rules in Judaism, including do not tell lies, not to steal and envy others. What are the features of religion dear students uh, religion has the following features first of all belief in one god belief in the messenger of god a holy book written by the messenger the community should follow the specific do's and don'ts of the messenger mass prayer to be conducted in a specific place so these are the features of a religion Now we have the second lesson, India from 6th century to 14th century. The Arab travelers Sulaiman and Al Masood visited the court of. There are four options, Mihiraboj, Mahibala, 
Mahendra Pala and Nagabatta. So let us see the option. Correct option is Mihira Bhoj. The next multiple choice is before you. Malati Madhava, Uttara Ramacharita, Mahavira Charita were written by. So the four options are Chand Bardai, Bhavabhuti, Rajashekara, Kalhana. So the answer is Bhavabhuti. Mewar, Bikaner, Jodhpur, Jaisalmer and Bhuni are the examples for Pahari, Rajasthani, Madhubani, Varli. So these are all the different types of painting and which type of painting you will see there. The answer is Rajasthani. Rajasthani painting is seen in Mewar, Bikaner, Jodhpur, Jaisalmer and Bhuni. Court poet of Lalita Ditya was options Billana, Kalana, Bhavabhuti, Rajashekra. Option is Kalana. The correct option is Kalana. And you need to pay attention to these. Fill up the blanks. Hope you know the answer. I leave it to you to solve them. Refer the textbook for the correct answer. The first woman to rule among the Delhi Sultans was Razia Sultana. Likewise, you need to answer the rest of the questions. Hope you will answer it. Next, list the important rulers of Karkotas of Kashmir. Describe in brief the administrative system under Iltamash. What are the administrative reforms of Alauddin Khilji? These are the important questions you need to concentrate on. Now we have the next lesson, Religious Reformers of India. Dear students, definitely there will be a question on the founder of the religion, the birthplace and their parents and the principles and their gurus. Right? For example, Shankaracharya, he was born in Kaladi of Kerala. His parents were Shiva Guru and Aryamba. Ramanujacharya was born in Sri Perambadur near Chennai. Keshava Somayaji and Kantimati were his parents. Likewise, Madhvacharya was born at Pajaka in Udupi. Narayana Bhatta and Mad Mother Mevedavati were his parents. Basavanna was born in Basavanna Bhagavadi. Ma Madarasa and Madalambika were his parents. The principles of Shankaracharya, that is, he advocated Advaita school of philosophy. Ramanujacharya ad advocated Vishishta Advaita school of philosophy. Madhvacharya advocated Dvaita and Basavanna advocated Shakti Vishishta Advaita. The books written by Shankaracharya, Ramanujacharya, Madhvacharya, Basavanna are given in the right side column. Please go through that. They are very important for two marks. Write a note on work is worship, principles or philosophy of Basavanna. Who established Anuva Mantapa? What are its objectives? These are the additional questions. Next, Vijayanagar Empire and Bahamani Kingdom. Here, there is one question. Pick the odd one out. The Kakatiyas of Varangal, Pandyas of Madurai, Sultans of Delhi and Paisalas of Dwarasamutra. So the option that you need to take it out is Sultans of Delhi because Sultans of Delhi, they were from the North India, rest of all from South India. And uh, the rest of like option A, B and D, they were attacked by the invaders. Sultans of Delhi is the odd one out. Arrange the following in chronological order. Tuluva, Sangama, Aravidu and Saluva. So these are the four dynasties of Vijayanagar kingdom. Let us see their chronological order. The correct order of them is Sangama first, next Saluva, next Tuluva, last one is Aravidu. Bukka upheld religious harmony 
this fact is revealed by one of the inscriptions in Alebidu, Beluru, Shravana Belagola, Somanathpura. The correct answer is Shravana Belagola. The title Dakshina Patada Chakravarti is owned by Krishna Devaraya, Devaraya the second, Devaraya the first, Saluva Narasimha. The correct answer is Devaraya the second or Prauda Devaraya. Ratnakaravarni's Bharatesha Vaibhava, Chamarasa's Parbulingalile, Kumara Vyasa's Gadugina Bharata. These are the words you need to keep in mind. These can be multiple choice questions. Likewise, Bhima Kavi translated Palupuri ke Somanatha's Telugu work, Basava Purana, to Kannada language. Lakkana Dandesha wrote Shiva Tattva Chintamani. Lakkana Dandesha wrote Shiva Tattva Chintamani. Kanakadasa wrote Mohana Tarangini, Nala Charite, Hari Bhakti Sara and Ramadhanya Charite. See, you have matched the following. Actually, this type of question is not asked in the annual exam, but this will definitely help you to answer multiple choice or one mark. Ahmadnagar, Vijayapura, Birar, Bidar, Golkanda. And the option B has jumbled um, dynasties. You will have to match it correctly. So the correct option is before you. Ahmadnagar was ruled by Nizam Shahi, Vijayapura, Adil Shahi, Birar, Yamat Shahi, Bidar, Bharit Shahi, Golkanda, Kutub Shahi. Alberoni wrote Tariq Al Hind. These are the points to remember. Utbi wrote Tariq e Yamini. Hassan Nizami wrote Tajul Masir. Minaj Us Siraj wrote Tabakal e Naziri. Amir Kusro wrote six prominent works and it gives details about Hindu and Muslim culture. Amir Kusro was called the Parrot of India. Ziauddin Barani wrote Tariki Firoz Shahi. Firoz Toglak wrote Utahat e Firoz Shahi. So the questions are What were the problems Krishna Devaraya had to face when he ascended the throne? What are the contributions of Vijayanagar Empire? to the economic system and society. Describe the art and architecture of Vijayanagar period. Who was Muhammad Gavan? What was his contribution to education? Now we have our constitution. Points to remember. The chairmanship of the constitutional assembly was Dr. Rajendra Prasad. And the drafting committee was Dr. P. R. Ambedkar. The Indian constitution was approved on 26 November 1949. The constitution came into force on 26 January 1950, which we celebrate Republic Day. The members of the drafting committee were N. Gopala Swami Iyengar, Aladi Krishna Swami Iyer, K. M. Munshi, and T. T. Krishnamachari. So these are the points to remember. You may have definite questions on them. The preamble of the constitution is referred as political horoscope. This was said by K. M. Munshi. Points to remember. Directive principles of state policy have been incorporated as per 42nd amendment. And the word secular and socialist also have been added. These are the rights you must concentrate on. You'll have to know the articles as well. For example, Article 14 to 18, Right to Equality. Article 19 to 22, Right to Freedom. Article 23 and 24, Right Against Exploitation. Right to Freedom of Religion is from 25 to 28. Cultural and Educational Rights, Article 29 and 30, and Right to Constitutional Remedies, Article 32. Points to remember, 
10 fundamental duties were included in the fourth chapter, part A. There are now 11 fundamental duties. Educate, giving education to the children is the fundamental duty of the parent is the 11th fundamental duty added to the fundamental duties list. The union government, the next lesson. Explain the composition of Rajya Sabha. So you need to learn this. There are about 250 members in Rajya Sabha. Out of 238 are elected by the members of the state assemblies and union territories. Whereas 12 members are nominated by the President of India who serve in the field of literature, art, science and social etc. What are the qualifications needed to become a member of Lok Sabha? The list goes on. It should, she or she should be a citizen of India. Must not be less than 25 years of age, should not hold any office of profit, should not be a person of unsound mind, etc. Explain the election process for the post of president. So the articles 54 and 55 speak about the election of the president. And there is an electoral college to elect him or her. Likewise, list out the powers of the Prime Minister or Prime Minister. Likewise, explain the composition of the Union Cabinet and its responsibilities. So, the answers are here, the functions of Prime Minister. Last chapter of this episode, the State Government. He, what are the qualifications for a Legislative Assembly member? He should be a citizen of India, must have completed 25 years of age, should not be employed in any office of profit of the government, he should not have been punished by the court, he should not be of unsound mind and also not be an insolvent. And this is about formation of Legislative Council. Legislative Council members are elected by the Legislative Assembly members local bodies, graduate constituencies and teacher constituencies and very few members are nominated by the state governors. So the additional questions are what are the qualifications and term of the office of the governor? Write a short note on the chief minister's functions. Dear students, dear students, so far you have learned History and Political Science Part 1 Important Questions in the Examination Point of View, SA2. In the coming episodes, I present remaining lessons. I wish you all the best. Subscribe this channel, you will get free information or uh, the knowledge related to the textbook and examination. I wish you all the best. Thank you.